Hello, Virgo and Cross Watchers. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Welcome to Natural Healing Tarot. Today we are going to take a look at your January monthly reading, general reading. If you guys find the messages helpful or that it resonates with your situation, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you would like future messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome, and I upload messages daily. So, Virgo, in the pre-shuffle, I was just getting the sense that there is a lot of healing that may be taking place um, within family, possibly within relationships. Now is a better time than ever to communicate, especially with the planetary alignments that are happening within your sign, okay? Um, be sure your needs are being communicated and met first and foremost, okay? Focus on Virgo. I feel like everything is just in a calm place. I feel like I feel like it's just calm right now, okay? Either it's just calm or you are moving towards something that's definitely more calm, okay? Eight of water, the world, six of fire. Also, Virgo, please keep in mind the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not gonna resonate every time with every person. Um, I do have a link below in the description box for a website that has free birth charts if it's something that you're interested in. Um, you may find that there's other, other signs that are more prominent in your chart, so you might want to check out those signs. Also, I'm still doing the drawing here every month for free personal reading. If you guys want to get entered into that, all you have to do is comment your astrological sign below. And last, but certainly not least, if the message is resonating for you guys, I do recommend staying until the end for the Power Thought card, um, just because it kind of just brings the message full circle. So, without further ado, Eight of Water, World, Six of Fire. So, Virgo, I feel like there's something that you're walking away from. The Eight of Water, Eight of Cups symbolizes letting go, going beyond the superficial and seeking something with greater authenticity. I feel like there may be a connection that you were focused on. You may have thought that this, this very well could be, have been a twin flame connection. But some people kind of misinterpret or are not really fully understand what that means. And it's hard to grasp the concept really and understand because there's so many different spiritual union types of connections. But they're with these connections. Sometimes the connection isn't coming together in, in the timing that we would like. But there's more to that. Sometimes there's lessons that need to be learned. And we still have free will. So if these lessons aren't learned in a timely manner, then things shift, things change. Also understanding that sometimes these divine partnerships don't come together in this lifetime. But we can't go through life focusing on that. And so that's kind of why I try to gear this channel more towards self-love, self-healing. I do want to, in 2020, try to incorporate more love readings because I do understand that you guys like those a little better. You guys like hearing about your love lives. Most people want insight on their love lives through tarot. So it is something that I'm going to be incorporating. But right now, Virgo, it's a perfect time to focus on self. Focus on your creative abilities because I feel like with this with this completion that you're going through with letting go of this connection you're going to find a connection that's more authentic that's going to align with the things that you're creating right now and the future that you're headed towards 
The Six of Fire in this deck is a beautiful card to come out. Um, it symbolizes stepping in the limelight. Um, it could also symbolize being an influencer, an influencer on social media, influencing a lot of people. The Six of Wands really does symbolize influencer type of energy, right? If you notice in a lot of the decks, it'll be like a person standing there commanding a crowd. Um, so I do feel like what's coming out here for you, Virgo, is there is an opportunity for you to come into a more authentic partnership, one that's going to suit you better right now for the needs that you have, and the direction that you're headed. So let's see here, Virgo. Let's see. Most important message for Virgo for January Spirit. What does Virgo need to see? inside this kind of hits you this whatever you're having to let go of whether this is a relationship whether this is a place where you live or a job that you were enjoying I feel like internally you're kind of uh, a little imbalanced about that I do feel like on the outside you are showing, you're presenting yourself well. You're victorious, you don't care, you don't mind, it's all good, everything's good, but inside you're dying. Maybe not dying, that's the wrong word to use. Inside you're healing, you're processing, um, trying to rebalance yourself, recenter yourself especially with the four of cups coming out. I also feel like your guard may be up a little bit and that could very well block the blessings that are coming your way. I feel like you're just really right now keeping to yourself, um, focusing on healing this healing process and there may have been some information that came out that might have been a little bit hard to hear for you. Once you choose to let this go, once you choose, we have the Eight of Cups coming out twice. Once you choose to let this go, that's when this completion is going to happen. We have the world coming out twice as well. Beautiful. Amazing. I feel like things are going to start looking up. Things are going to start turning in your favor once this is released. And don't try to rush it, okay? Don't rush this process, Virgo. Take the time. It might not happen this month. This, this reading is just symbolizing that this is when the process is starting. Process these emotions. Um, also, since you're going through this rough patch, try to shift your perspective in this, okay? Especially if you're influencing people, maybe you're going to help, you're going to be able to help people with part of this process that you're going through. So in this process, when you're processing these emotions, letting go, reviewing the past, making the life plan, feel free to incorporate that within your own material. You know, use those things. Take that information. It, even if you've found it on my channel, I'm more than, you'll have to create your own video because my videos are copyrighted, but you are more than welcome to take the information that I gave you, flip it around a little bit and put it in a video to help other people. The point of these videos is to help people. I want the world to heal. I want everybody to be healed so we don't have 
these negative experiences, these lower vibrations, if we can, if we can get everybody on the planet to raise their vibration just a little bit, imagine, imagine the world. So what I'm getting at Virgo is take the time as you're going through this process and learn from it, learn, learn from this process so you can help other people and try to look at it like that. Like, what can I gain from this? Like, okay, I'm, I'm gaining healing, obviously, but what other information, like what useful information can I gain from all of this research, this process that I'm doing on myself? How can I help other people with this process? Helping other people, taking what you've learned, the process that you've gone through, and then and then being able to help other people, that's like the pain coming full circle. Honestly, I honestly feel like that's why we go through the things that we go through, so we can help other people not, not have to go through it as hard or not have to go through those difficult times as bad as we did. truth will set you free. The truth will set you free, Virgo. You're heading to a point in your life where you're going to need all the energy that you have, okay? You're not going to have time to be challenged by people that are indecisive. You're not gonna have the time to help people right now along their journey as much as you would like because of the process that you're going within yourself, okay? So understand that this process has to be completed, okay, before you can move forward. Otherwise, you're gonna keep running from this truth. Don't be deterred by the challenges along the way. I feel like there's people that are going to be coming into your life. It's going to help you understand why things didn't work in the past. Also may help you understand a little bit better about the soulmate connection. Be practical. Be practical with how you proceed. Um, make sure all your I's are dotted, your T's are crossed. And don't let this distract you. Letting go is a process, okay? But after the process is over, then we have to move forward. Focusing on self. This card, the Nine of Autumns, is the Nine of Pentacles. It also symbolizes successful self-employment, something along those lines. Maybe having your own business. Ultimately, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of self, of self. Focusing on self, focusing on your finances, your career, your goals, um, your business. And rewarding yourself in this, okay? Celebrating, okay? Don't, not letting, not letting any of this negativity hinder you. Remember, Virgo, the truth will set you free. I feel like the truth did set you free. Let's get some psychic tarot out here for you guys. going to be a new opportunity. I just didn't want to speak on it until this came out. I feel like this new opportunity is going to come in more balanced, um, more authentic. I did say that at the beginning of the reading. 
you have what it takes to get through this. You have the strength. You have the inner wisdom, the inner guidance, listening to your intuition, trusting. Focusing on self-care, meditation, contemplation, listening to your body. Because when your body is telling you you need rest, let it rest. But just let it rest, okay? When your energy is telling you you got energy, go. Listening to that energy levels in your body is definitely going to be beneficial right now. Ebbing and flowing through life. Through life. So, Virgo, I am going to pull a power thought card. I feel like it's a good, a very good, solid message coming out. I feel like you're moving into a more positive space, okay? And don't be resistant. Don't be resistant to this. Um, let it go. The truth will set you free. The power thought card for you, Virgo, is I release all fears and doubts. I now choose to free myself from all destructive fears and doubts. I accept myself and create peace in my mind and heart. I am loved and I am safe. I release all fears and doubts. So, Virgo, that is the message that I have for you guys for this month of January. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.